had a few requests for how I build my track pad or how I build my track. So the old track pads, the ends were breaking off, so I decided to replace them with an all steel pad like my E25, which came out to be a pad like this. <coughs> So on the leopard pads, I took a piece of rectangular tubing, inch and a half by two and a half, 083 wall, and I cut it to eight and five eighths, and we'll weld these ends on, which are a piece of flat bar, inch and a half wide. Uh, 3 sixteenths thick and then I cut them at 2 and 7 sixteenths inches long. So, weld this first piece on. I'll show you the lugs after that. and I weld one of the sides and then we can put the lug end on and the lugs are just a piece of one inch schedule 85 uh, cut to about three quarters inches long and I built this centering jig so I can get the lug centered in the track pad Holds it. And then just tack it in place. welded now and just do the same on the other side
Okay. Now we can flip it over. We can get our hinge piece. Our hinge is a 14 gauge, two and a half wide. Uh, get them through Buyer's Product. I think the part number is a S49. Um, open widths, two and a half inches wide. And I've cut these off at approximately nine inches, so they'll, when the pads assembled, they'll come out to the right foot. I'm measuring the gap just using the rolled steel on the hinge. So we can get that squared up, tack the hinge on. Second, we'll build our other track pad. So normally you just continue this process on until you had full track. I had about 80 of these per track on the Leopard. I don't remember what the E25 was, but about 18 hours solid welding per track. Um, because these are just spares, next we'll break the link and well, with each side, and that'll be our spare track pads. Just take a punch and drive the hinge pin out. Which is kind of difficult at times. To get the pin started, generally you can just work it back and forth and then it'll come out. So, for our spares, we need to have to grind that. Just put this on each side and then we can move on to track teeth.
What I've used for loops is they're not welded. We'll weld these along the side of the track pad just to keep them from stretching and pulling apart. Do that now, I guess. That's when I do up the other side, uh, just to keep from having to grind too much weld so they don't hit. Now the trick is not to weld the pad to the wrong part of the hinge so it doesn't hinge anymore. You kind of got to be careful. Hinges, that's all on the side. You can weld the tops. Maybe we can. Okay, the track teeth are a one inch by two inch rectangular tubing cut about 16 degrees on each side and we'll just center them and weld them in place and then I'll cut the tops off, crimp them and weld them again. So. I was doing a larger section of track. I think originally I took a piece of square tubing, centered it, tacked it in place, did a row of track teeth and cut the welds and moved on and did the same thing again. But since we're only doing two teeth, I'll just use this magnet. Just center them best I can. Line aside, don't have to be exact on the center of the pad. And we'll tack them in place. important to weld down the sides for added strength. When I originally built the metal hinge with 
the teeth welded to it, had the wood pads. I only welded just the ends of the track teeth and the torque of turning on the track, uh, I had quite a few of them break off. So I learned it's just best to weld all the way around the tooth. cut the tops off. To do this I use a portable bandsaw. Normally you wouldn't have to put these in a vise because you'd have at least what I did I had the whole track finished before I cut the teeth so it was on the ground and the weight of the whole assembly held it in place. But since we're just doing these two Channel locks or some other long handled pliers where you can get some leverage to bend them. So after we squeeze them down with the channel locks a little bit, take a pair of vice grips and crimp them and kind of hold them in place. And you can tack them closed. Pretty much it. How I make my track pads. I uh, hope that answers most of your questions. Like I said before, the E25, same concept, just different tubing for the pad. But built the same way. Uh, thanks for watching and 